Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got Sadie something Adler. to that discuss. Is. How did you know he was here? Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. <laughs> but the other to be Sadie's wife, though. She's about. How did she know he was here? Maybe you keep her ear to the ground and there's a few people know or heard about this and heard about these wee gunfights and she's put two and two together, I bet you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Wonderhelm Games, and we're back with another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, we left off the last one <clears throat> where we were helping one of the sons of Gettys um, ride the horse, kind of train him a wee bit. Then it was basically protecting the farm against the Laramie boys from the other farm across the way, getting the cattle back. Abigail wasn't too pleased that we went back into old ways to shoot people and defend the farm. Um, obviously wearing Arthur's hat, which looked good on him there. Um, still must miss Arthur, to be fair. Uh, so I'll probably just go back and play the game at some point myself, just to go over the storyline with Arthur and that there. I would say, if there's anything in the first lot of episodes, or whatever you're playing with as Arthur, that I would have missed, do let me know, and I'll make sure I try and find where that is, and maybe post a very short video about that at some point, if anything I missed. But, anyway. Um... I did promise to try and go and see Hamish, so I think I'll try and do that in this one if I can. Um, but there is a mission here. The only thing I have on the farm is with Abigail, so I imagine she wants to talk about this. Um, I doubt um, she's going to be too happy. Um, that's the only thing I think is here, apart from um, up at the... Well, there we are. Up in McCray's run. Okay, McCray's run. So, do this here. We'll see. Hopefully, if it doesn't lead into loads of other missions, um, then I'll try and get up and see Hamish at some point to at least see what he says and let him know about Arthur and that there. I imagine that'll come up. So, we will see. But anyway. Oh, the wee, the wee pony's away. One of he's out. Or if she hasn't took off. Oh, she's not. here. I was going to say if she took off or something. <laughs> I think. I wonder where the pony is then. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. <laughs> ain't no undertakers ranger. like me. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. <laughs> As. I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we're about to Jack get somewhere, make something, arguing. you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom, you act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're well, you're doing hello. better. We are doing Milton. better. Milton, ma'am, mm. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that Something way, can you pick reading. up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. 
One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. What's the name, though? John Marston or Jim Mills? Okay, Lancelot. <laughs> Make a man out of you yet. This Not is going to get him in man trouble mine. about He's you. only a boy. I'm just going to show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, <laughs> get. You take care now. Of course. Y'all come back now, you hear? It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do. Yep. To protect Every day. You. Ma said it was pride or something. Your Ma was wrong about that. Not about pride. It's about defending the farm where they are. I mean, the, the owner asked them. Here. Oh. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then hold them one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Look, no hands. Throw a berry. Strawberry, hey kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I Walking think I can be trusted in that. Very good. <laughs> Are we ever gonna get to strawberry going like this? We are we are in strawberry. Alright. Here we are. You alright, son? Sure. I I moved up to there or Cheer something. up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave. I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Hi, I'm here to- Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Marston. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Oh, he's away. Abigail Roberts. One of his, he's a wanted man in some places, so yes. I bet he'd be a fun bounty hunter. No, no, no. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign mm. here. We have a bunch <laughs> of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Mm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Yeah. Sure. 
This doesn't fail, so, right? Least. Yeah, I hope so. Here, the guy left. You take the reins running. a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. <laughs> okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But yeah, I'm just I've been seeing the way your mom left. I don't know how long. But nothing. not very long. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Just making sure I'm not being followed. <laughs> They've been paranoid. Who's this? Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow oh. down, okay? Uh, Grim Digger. Sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. The rain coming on. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. Uh -huh. No, keep driving. Yeah. Give him a switch. Let's speed this up. Pick up the pace a bit. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Oh, no, we're not. Right. Pull your reins in. What's wrong, Pa? I'm Nothing. being followed now. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look yeah. where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Yeah, they're here for him. Oh, easy. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pa, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, now! Get on another side. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys yeah. want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Oh. Oh. You ain't gonna see another time. Okay, well, it's probably better off doing that to be honest, because it would have led back to the ranch, and that's something we don't want. But of course, Jack will probably say this to his, his mother, and she won't be happy with us again. It's 
It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Take the reins tight. For him. Be careful. Okay, that's me now. Oh dear, those men! This is slow. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul! Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. We want to get home. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. Oh, get Where are you what was that you were saying? You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Peacher's Home. That's right, Peacher's Home. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but <laughs> yeah, that kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? You're hmm. going so fast! I'm not now. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Uh, it's starting to turn back the way it was really, wasn't it, with him? People will find out who he is and you know, drag us back into it. I kind of hope that it is right for Arthur's sake in terms okay, of here we are. helping them that was in, get out of all that trouble. Uh, eventful trip. How is the? Hmm. I shall find what out happened? what happened. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then. We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Yeah, he was there. Uh, <laughs> it was your dress that caused all the problem? It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Uh, you could have got next time you were in clean the doctor's surgery. That would have been an idea. But of course, it's all part of the story. <laughs> so, must be a reason for these things. Hey, Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. He'll be sending a telegram. wants to give me a big pile of money. <laughs> That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Unless it's, um, who else would contact him? Maybe Sadie or something? Or one of the other girls? Who knows? Then how would they know he's there? The only person knows he's here is his wife. Hmm. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, 
Stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got Good something Adler. to that discuss. Is. I didn't you know he was here. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. <laughs> but the other to be Sadie's wife, though. She's about. How did she know he was here? Maybe you keep her ear to the ground and there's few people know or heard about this and heard about these wee gunfights and she's put two and two together, I bet you. Okay. Yeah, so we're maybe gonna tell. Tell Abigail. Abigail! Hey. Is that letter? It's just fucked off. This is the last thing he needs. I did, I will. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. I one see the lost in the gang, like Arthur and that there, and Lenny, Sean, Hosea, too many people. It's different, um, different un underwear, ain't different thing, yeah. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? <laughs> Catch you with a showgirl? I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? <laughs> Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Mm. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Keep yourself busy. <laughs> Take your mind off it. Oh. Uh, well, okay. We can probably do a couple of chores then and we call it for this episode. And that way we we'll start fresh. Next one. Come on, John. Stop stalling. Ooh, uh, let's get two. Let's get two. It's bigger than the cattle. <laughs> Milk, milk, keys, milk the keys. Can I stop the fence? It'd be funny if he does get his own place, he'll have to do all this again for himself, but at least he knows what he's doing, so that was the whole point. Okay, so we could very well get our own ranch before the end of this. That'd be quite cool. I wonder if we can help design it ourselves, that'd be quite that'd be good. Look how kind of big it is. I bet you I'll have to go and find out. Well, if there's any way to get her back, we'll have to, I guess. But it'll all be about doing more chores, save more money. Giving her time to stew, I suppose. Well, that's stew, but blow off some steam. 
is obviously the strawberry. Probably at the end. I don't know where else you would have went. A few months later. Okay, a few months. But that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I suppose it'll be help, more helpful for him now, because that Laramie problem, which hopefully have sorted itself out, that the owner doesn't tire idiots like that to come at them anymore. <laughs> we talk. You're a good dog. <laughs> hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing mm. is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Mm. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. <laughs> just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Yeah. They are. It's like, good. That's, that's a good start. Positive. And then if they go somewhere else, settle near Blackwater, then hopefully they mightn't, um, the trouble might follow them, at least for a while. So maybe when we get ourselves settled, if we do move in the next episode, after that, we'll get a chance to maybe go up and see him ish. Sadie, that's right. We've got Sadie to visit now as well. But, um, so she's in Valentine. Then I'm in Blackwater. He's away for now. Probably he'll come up again. Um, well, maybe what we'll do is I'll leave it here. Um, I'll head towards Valentine. And then we'll start off seeing Sadie, and then after that we'll probably... If uh, Hamish comes up after that, we'll see him. If not, we'll come back down here. And we'll get ourselves sorted in black water. So, that'll probably be it then. So, I'll uh, forego the uh, journey um, on, on the recording, but... We have a knife, okay.
But um, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. We'll see how Sadie's been doing. Take care, guys. Bye.